guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina and today we're going to review this little packet from Soap and Glory that I got. Uh, this one is the Flatter Box um, and it has eyeliner, mascara, some eyeshadows and highlighter in it and a lip popper, a couple brushes. Looks like this. There is no mirror. I'm holding it because I don't want it all to fall out but I want you to see it. Um, I have got this at Christmas. I've used it a whole, like, once or twice. It seems like a decent brand, and I wish I could try more by them, but mostly all I ever get from them is, like, their hand creams and stuff because, um, they just don't have their makeup line here. But I've heard great things about them, and I know that their hand creams and stuff are fabulous. So, I thought we'd try this out and see how it goes. Now, I have tried several things in here like once with the exception of this lip plumber i tried this out and then i literally made everybody else try it out too because it's weird so it has kind of a candy flavor to it yeah tastes exactly like a tootsie roll it has this weird sensation on the lips to me it feels like buzzing um my kids say it's painful I don't know, it's different. So they have these brushes in here. You can actually use these, but this thing is so tiny that it borders on a total nightmare. So we're just gonna set those to the side. Um, I tend to think of brushes as sort of a filler item that companies put in to make things look bigger rather than something they actually put in there to like use. So what's in here are these three eyeshadows and a highlight. I'm assuming this is like for doing a natural look. So there's a base shade, but it is a shimmer. Then there is this copper shade, which is also a shimmer. Lastly is this taupey shade. Not really a shimmer, so that's good. At least we have one shade that's kind of matte. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Plum Beauty Quad. I've really, really been liking this for just doing, putting like down base colors because it has beautiful ones in here and they're perfect for blending on top of. So I'm just gonna pick that color here and put that all over my lid. And if you've never used a Kat Von D eyeshadow, you are missing out. I have that all over my lid. And now I'm gonna take this deeper color here and I'm going to put that in my crease. So the one thing that I think that these shadows do is they blend out really nicely. This actually has instructions on how they say to get you the best possible look and they like tell you how they think you should use it. But this might work if you're like a teenager maybe but for anybody else I think putting a shimmer all over your lid as your base shade maybe not the best choice in the world but I'm gonna take that lightish shade there that's a shimmer and I'm just gonna bring it over here because it is really pretty and then I'm gonna take the middle shade and just stick that right in like over here because it is that's the most shimmery one Okay, so as you can see, it goes on really nicely. Um, they're very neutral. This is a very neutral shade that I have here. And I haven't seen a whole lot of makeup from them. But I'm going to take this deepest shade and put it under in my eyelash, eyelash line. And then I'll grab the second shade and bring that in a little bit. And then lastly, that soda pop shade, which is the lightest one. And just dust it on my inner corner. So that leaves me with their eyeliner called Super Cat. This is the one thing in here I don't think I've used at all. Okay, and this is a felt tip pen. And we're just gonna sweep that across the lash line. Okay, so this eyeliner is really nice. It goes on pretty easily. I'm not happy with the way my wing looks right now. So the next thing in here is this mascara. It's called Thick and Fast. I don't remember if I tried this out. I think I did. So this is not my favorite mascara ever. No. For me, the whole point of putting on mascara is a lengthening and volumizing mascara. And this is just, 
It just doesn't really do either one for my lashes. And I don't have terrible lashes. They're not amazing, but they're not bad. So I got this Bang Beauty Blush in Smoked Peach that I really, really like. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of it. Now the last thing in here is this highlight, Glow All Out. It looks like that. It looks really chalky to me, and it's a very subtle highlight. I don't even know if you can see it on my wrist right here. It's nice and soft, but it just, it like has very little glow. But we'll try it and see what happens. So I'm just gonna take my Wayne Goss brush. This brush will get highlight out of almost anything if there's highlight to be had. And I mean, I see a little bit, very subtle, very natural looking, very, very subtle. I guess if you weren't wearing any other makeup, they're going for a very neutral look, um, except for the eyeliner, which is crazy good. Once I get the hang of it, I think I'm going to like that eyeliner. It just took me by surprise how it worked. I really like the way this side turned out. I'm just not happy with the side. And I know, you know, we've all been there where he's just like, damn it. And eyeliner is one of those things. It's really hard to fix it. And if you keep messing with it, it just goes all bad. I think, I think if you're looking at this and you see this at Christmas time, which is when I saw this, um, this is a great Christmas gift for any teenager on your list. Odds are good that anybody with a makeup collection is going to have most of these things in their collection, with the exception of this eyeliner and potentially that mother pucker, sexy mother pucker lip plumper. Surprisingly good, really, really good, um, crazy, crazy effective. Uh, it actually makes my lips fuller, which is really hard to do. And this eyeliner called Super Cat, that stuff is, seriously, I really like it. Liner, I will be using this, I'll probably take it out of the set, set it with stuff that I use a lot because it is really good. The eye shadows are really nice. These are really subtle colors. Um, and the one thing about every one of these powders in here is they were all nice and soft, finely milled, feel really good. I really did like the eye shadows. Uh, I, if I, ha I wish I had more shades to try from them because I think if you get eyeshadows in a set like that are, that are pretty good, then typically the brand itself has really good eyeshadows, so I'm looking forward to trying some of those. I don't really care for the mascara. The highlight is just a throwaway. I will never use that again. I can sort of kind of see where it's at. That's just not what I want in a highlight. It's just not. If you have a teenager and you're Christmas shopping, they would love this. And this was on sale for 50% off when I got it, so it was 15 bucks. And that was before Christmas, so I'm sure that they go on sale like that quite often. It does seem to be a fairly affordable brand, which is great. It's definitely, in my opinion, packaged to be a gift. It's great for that because it gives you lots of things to play with and lots of things to try. And isn't that the whole point of getting a present? It's new things to play with. If it's somebody who doesn't use makeup, then that would be a great place to start because it has a lot of the things you need to start with. You're very basic things and they're very neutral, but if you're a mom and you're looking for something for a teenage daughter who's getting into makeup, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let me know what you think and if you've tried Seven Glory and what from their brand you like because I think this is going to be a new absolute favorite of mine. Absolutely love it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.